One piece of information that I have included in my previous dark side video that has popped up to me again, which I think is key when trying to understand dark side's character and why certain things are the way they are with him in Zack Snyder's Justice League, is the fact that after dark side became the ruler of Apocalypse, he effectively stopped looking for the anti-life equation. But why was this the case exactly? During the history lesson, it is really important to know that Darkseid is not the Darkseid yet, but he is Euxus, a younger version before, of course, he became the ruler of Apocalypse. And I think the context of why Euxus is there and not Darkseid is really important as not just when it comes to the looks of the character, but also the power that he wields as either Euxus or either Darkseid. And of course, after he is defeated, the mother boxes went back to sleep and he couldn't locate the exact earth within the multiverse until the mother boxes called out to again. This is what I covered in my previous video. But when he became the ruler of Apocalypse, when he effectively became Darkseid, he is no longer the one who conquers worlds, but Steppenwolf is. But why is that the case exactly? Well, when you really think about it, Darkseid is the effective ruler or king of Apocalypse, and the ruler just simply cannot go out and abandon his kingdom and conquer a trillion worlds in the hope of finding one specific planet amongst a trillion of stars. And just when you think about what it means to just being a ruler in general, being a ruler or a king grants him enough power to wage war against basically anything and anybody within the multiverse that he wants to. And of course, when you really think about his character, he probably is a figure who governs by fear. But why didn't he look for the anti-life equation after he became the ruler of Apocalypse? That is the really big question here. And my counter question to that question is, but well, what if he leaves his post as the ruler of Apocalypse to look for the anti-life equation? And just moving on from the line of thought, how legitimate do you think a ruler is if he is never there to govern his kingdom to begin with? As of course, if Darkseid were to look for the anti-life equation, he would have to look amongst a trillion of stars. And that doesn't leave a lot of legitimacy when it comes to just being ruler of a place if you're not there to govern the place itself. And it is also implied that Darkseid was betrayed by his own family, that of course being Steppenwolf, and that just signals to me that there is absolutely nobody that he can trust at this point. And when you really think about what would happen if he was indeed go out and look for the anti-life equation among a trillion of stars, I would wager a fair amount of money that there would be a possible mutiny or coup against him, possibly even by Steppenwolf himself. That would of course mean that he would probably have to quell that rebellion and lose a ton of his own soldiers in the process, and probably Steppenwolf as well, as, as he has tried to overthrow him in the past, and he would lose Steppenwolf during the quelling process, and, and Steppenwolf is the conquering force of Darkseid who gains him new worlds and additional manpower. And when you really think about all these little aspects adding up, it makes absolutely no sense for him to look for the anti-life equation as the ruler of Apocalypse and just leave his post for a wild goose chase that might not even bear any fruit whatsoever and lose Apocalypse in the process. But now that Steppenwolf has actually found the planet that fought back, and Darkseid knows the exact location within the multiverse, but he cannot use the mother boxes to create a boom tube to Earth as they were destroyed, he will come for his great prize the old way. And just as a final thought, if you're feeling that something within Zack Snyder's Justice League or just any movie in general you don't necessarily understand or confusing you, just give it another shot and try to untangle things for yourself and then possibly point it out to others or just discuss it with others, which was kind of the point of this video as well that I was trying to make. But thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, so please leave a like and let's talk some dark side in the comments down below and even apocalypse. What do you think about this whole situation in general? Subscribe for more content like this one and I will see you in the next one. And until then, remember to keep it insightful.